Min, J, dann sag doch, was du willst, oder bist du aufs Gesicht gefallen? Hey Rabbits, it's Trixie, and today I want to analyze the Berlin dialect in German. What does German spoken in Berlin sound like, and why is that? Not only will I mention the most important aspects about the pronunciation, slang words and grammar features, I will also speak with the Berlin dialect myself in the end of the video. Before I start, let me say that all of this is not at all meant as an offense. I'm from Hamburg and I've only been to Berlin like three or four times in my life, so this is all based on my personal observations. Also, please watch the video until the end, because I'm gonna say some important things about the dialect itself and my impression of the Berlin people. So please wait for that before you judge and hammer a hateful comment into your keyboard. Without further ado, here we go, my analysis of the Berlin dialect. Let's start with the pronunciation and how it differs from standard German. One important thing is that a G in the beginning or the middle of a word often becomes a J. Gut gemacht, well done, gut gemacht, ah, das ist gegessen, that's over, ah, dit is gegessen. Also CH often becomes CK, K, ich, I, ich or icke. Furthermore, the German EI, I, is mostly pronounced as E. Du kriegst doch nie eine ab. You're never gonna get a girl. Du kriegst doch nie eine ab. Na, meine Kleine? Huh, my little one? Na, meine Kleine? Dir ziehe ich die Beine lang. Dir zieh ich die Beine lang. Another funny oddity is that S in the end of a word often becomes T. Was? Wat? Das? Dit or dat? Das gibt es doch gar nicht. That cannot be. Dit gibt es doch ja nicht. Whenever there is a G or an IG in the end of a word, people from Berlin pronounce it as ch, weg, weg, wichtig, important. Das ist wichtig. This also sometimes applies when the G is in the middle of a word. Kriegst du, kriegst du. Ja, warten, kriegst du die Kiem nicht auf? Apart from that, sometimes an extra E is put in the end of a word. Jetzt, now, jetze, ich, icke. Meinst du mich, icke? Ja, warten, später oder jetzt? Next up, the German I, E or I is pronounced as Ü or Ö from time to time. Das Handy liegt auf dem Tisch. The cell phone is on the table. Das Handy liegt auf dem Tisch. Whenever you see a word with a U, Au in Standard German, it's mostly pronounced as O or U by people from Berlin. Die Augen, the eyes. Meine Augen, auf. For example, meaning up, uff. Pass mal auf Keule. Ey, pass mal auf Keule. In some other videos, I already told you that the German R, rrr, is pronounced as A when it's in the end of a word. But I would say that people from Berlin do this in an even more exaggerated way. Aua, meine Ohren. Au, meine Ohren. Hier, hier. Einen schweren Koffer. Einen schweren Koffer. And a T in the end of a word is often just like, me. Nicht. Not. Nicht. Something else that's really characteristic for the Berlin dialect is that many personal pronouns are shortened. Sie, they, the, wir, we, wa. Haben Sie dir ins Gehirn geschissen? Haben Sie dir ins Gehirn geschissen? Gehen wir los oder was ist jetzt? Gehen wir los oder was ist jetzt? Furthermore, pf, pf, is often pronounced as only p. P, p. Mach den Kopf zu, es zieht. Mach den Kopf zu, es zieht. Also, the letter combination nf Hmph is magically transformed into mf. Hmph. Fünf. Five. Fünf. Senf. Mustard. Senf. Ey, lass mal ein Senf rüberwachsen. Not only t's in the end of a word just vanish, it happens to other consonants too. Einmal. Once. Einmal. Komm mal her. Komm mal her, du Lulatsch. Another interesting aspect, en in the end of a word often turns into hm. Haben. To have. Ham. Haben wir keinen Kaffee mehr? Haben wir keinen Kaffee mehr? And last but not least, the German G, G, often becomes K, K. Ja, guck mal einer an. Ja, kick mal einer an. Wir sind Ditte. Enough with the pronunciation, let's talk about some grammar issues now. Instead of als, people from Berlin often use wie when they compare something. Ich bin immer noch klüger als du. Ich bin immer noch klüger wie du. Dann, wenn, often becomes... Denn, dann sag doch, was du willst. Mein J, denn sag doch, was du willst, oder bist du aufs Gesicht gefallen? Apart from that, there is another peculiarity. In English, you can say such a thing and also such things. In German, however, this such is not the same word, depending on whether it's plural or singular. For singular female things, you can say so eine Sache, often shortened to so eine Sache. For such things, however, you would have to say solche Sachen. 
If you find that difficult to memorize, move to Berlin. People there don't care. They could also say, so ne Sachen. Na, so ne Sachen halt. And then for some reason they often say, wir. We, when they actually mean you. Na, haben wir ein bisschen zu viel gesoffen, wa? You may have noticed it in the end of the sentence I put wa, which is the Berlin version of right. In Hamburg we mostly use ne, and there are many other words like this, but Berlin people use wa. And then one last thing, instead of nein, Berlin people often answer with nö or nee. Now the only thing we need are some funny Berlin slang terms. Schnieke, dufte, schnafte, paletti, mischugge, and of course some basic rules to nail the Berlin dialect perfectly. Follow them to get into the right mood. Firstly, talk as if you were pissed by everything. You know, there is a reason why the Berlin dialect is also referred to as Kodderschnauze or Berliner Schnauze. Secondly, stop caring about grammar. Dir find ich gut. Na, dit ist besser wie diese Kuhkauf hier. Third aspect, pull words together so it's most comfortably to pronounce them. Hat sie instead of hat sie. Was denn dit instead of was ist denn das? Kinda incredible that these two things still mean the same. Rule number four, don't take anything seriously. Mock everybody and everything. For example, beer becomes Pullerbrause. Pea lemonade. A tall person is Lulatsch. A village is dat Kuhkaff. A cow town. Nuckelpinne is a slow car and Isha is a woman. Just make fun of everything. Now, <coughs> the moment that you all waited for. I'm going to speak a couple of sentences with a Berlin dialect now. <sighs> Action. Icke. Was soll ich denn schon zu vermelden haben? Wie sie alle kieken. Na, alles gut? Haben wir nichts Besseres zu tun mit Drogen, wa? Ganz schön neugierig. Schon mal was von Privatsphäre gehört? Könnt ich jetzt gebrochen. Was kiekst du dir die Videos von der ollen Tittenschleuder überhaupt an? Findest du schnieke, die Kleine, wa? Hör mir auf. Das, was die Troller Englisch nennt, auf Wacker, was Rotz. Da wissen doch mir Schugge. Wie, das wolltest du jetzt alles nicht wissen? Ist mir doch schnurzpipial. Ich hab jetzt auch hier noch hier ackert hier. Ich werd jetzt mit meinen Atzen in Zwitschern gehen. Ich mach ein Abjan. Macht's gut. So, what do you say? People from Berlin here, what's your impression? Was that a good interpretation of the Berlin dialect or did I completely mess it up? Now some very important information. By no means I wanted to say that people from Berlin are aggressive, rude or even stupid. First of all, barely anyone in Berlin really talks like that, especially not all the time. Maybe some of them sound like that when they are with their very best friends. But no waitress in a restaurant would approach you like Na willst du noch eine Pullerbrause oder ist es gut? Also what I described as talked as if you were pissed by everything and as if you don't care about grammar does not equal talk as if you are rude and dumb. What you have to understand is that the Berlin dialect is like that on purpose. I feel like people from Berlin really say what they think. They don't beat around the bush. But that's not rude, it's honest and relaxed. Apart from that, they seem very cynical to me and the humor is pretty awesome. It can get quite straightforward, earthy and dark though. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If so, please leave a thumbs up because that would make me really, really happy. The research for this video was insane, so it's always good to see that you guys at least had fun watching it. As always, you can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram or Facebook and here is a video that you should definitely check out as well. Subscribe to Don't Trust the Rabbit for more videos like this and if you want to support Support my channel even more, you can also find me on Patreon. I would appreciate your help so, so much. Now wish you all a wonderful day and hopefully until next time. Bye! Jetzt jedoch nach Hause!